Ruben had had some, some issues and stuff and really was going in to, to try to run and do the best he could and he's an effort kind of kid and a great kid. Um, and he kind of ran his first lap and he was having problems right about over here. Um, and we told him to, to pull off, to get off to the side and, and try to get his breath and rest and asked if he needed to go to the nurse and, and you know, kind of normal, normal things. And um, we pulled him off to the side and right over here, he um, was you know, trying to get his breath and holding out and he just passed out. John looked at me and he goes, oh my God, Don, he's falling. And I turned around and I saw Reuben going down. And uh, it looked in, like in the movies. I mean, it was one of those things, he didn't go to a knee and fall down. He just literally collapsed. And the student was laying um, kind of crumpled on the ground. So we, um, we repositioned him carefully um, with the help of one of the coaches. And um, then I assessed his breathing and his respirations. And at that point, um, I could not get a pulse. And so from there, um, we tried to um, stimulate him to see if he would respond. We weren't getting a response, so then on my radio, I called to have someone bring out the AED unit. I was saying a little prayer as I'm running up the hall, thinking I gotta get to this AED, and I gotta get it back out here uh, to, to, so, that, so that we can do the things that we're trained to do. The, the district has trained us in CPR and, and gotten us trained up in all these things, and it's something you never wanna use. But when you, when you have to use it, you know that you have to have the AED to run through that process. The coaches were the ones that first um, noticed the student having problems. They, they helped with moving the student. They helped with um, placing the AED pads and getting that going. And then the resource officer came up after we did use the AED and gave a shock and started CPR. I just stood there for a second as the AED um, analyzed him. It recommended a shock. Um, so Ms. Michelle shocked him and it said begin CPR. Michelle. I stopped, Michelle um, gave him two breaths, and then the machine told you to stop to, to analyze the patient, and then it said continue with CPR. At that point, I thought, man, I've been around this long enough to know that if we're at this point, this is not good, and um, so I continued. So I continued with the chest compressions. Um, I, I paused. Michelle did a couple more breaths. Um, the machine continued with CPR. Then I'm really that I'm like, oh, this is not, it's not, it's not good. When I, as I was doing chest compressions, he started breathing, and um, wow, talking about crying with this, I about lost it. Because the only people I could think about, which is, I mean, the only thing I could think about was his mom and dad at work. You know, not knowing. You know, they're having a good day at work and have no idea what we're doing, you know. You know, while it was going on, I guess the adrenaline was kicking in and I wasn't really thinking about anything other than taking care of the situation, taking care of Reuben and his dad. Uh, so it never really hit me that anything that serious had happened. Uh, Zach, our principal, called me later that night and he says, you know, he goes, we've all been trained on it, but we've never actually seen an AED used on somebody. It saved the student's life. It was, it was invaluable. And, um, it's, yeah, I wish we had them in lots of other public places. It's, it's good to see there's a lot of good teamwork, that everybody did the things that they, they needed to do. I mean, everybody did their job. Uh, the, ad, the administration and the counselors were down here right after. I mean, we had everybody down here in place doing what they, what they needed to do. There's just so much pride in, in what we do at Cedar Valley, you know, and, and Round Rock ISD in general. Um, you know, students always come first, and to see uh, just so many people get together and do what's the best thing in an emergency situation and everyone pitch in to do what was necessary for, for that student.